So you clicked on this video because you want to know the perks for all the mentors in the game going under and how to get them. Well, you know what? I got you, fam. So as a preface, I just want to let you know that it'll be so much easier for you to unlock all the mentor perks if you complete the mentor requests in the first half of the game. Second half of the game, eh, gets a bit tougher, you know? It literally took me more time to unlock all the mentor perks than it did for me to complete the game the second time around. So in short, do not enter this clearly not suspicious portal of productivity. And with that, let's go ahead and talk about the mentors. Timestamps are in the description. Tappy, the senior accountant. The first perk Tappy provides is that you earn more money throughout your run. Whenever you defeat an enemy with Tappy as your mentor, you may notice that they drop these shitty blue coins along with dollar bills, and you gain more money in the form of cents. This perk is unlocked by buying Tappy an espresso machine from the Joblin Cafe. A fair warning is that the espresso machine only spawns on the first floor and costs $60, so you may need a Coop Snoop app in order to lower the price if you're never lucky. The second perk is that you can order deliveries from the Primo Store. The Primo Store is a new shop that appears where you can order a variety of different items that will be delivered to you via drone after 3 to 5 rooms of fighting. The delivery will be in a blue box that looks like this. This perk is unlocked from two tasks. The first is that you have to complete three combats in a row without getting hurt. So, get good. The second is to defeat the huge rock star in Joblin. You'll find a new room on the second floor of the Joblin dungeon with a big ass rock star and a handful of Joblins. The third perk is that cafe items will be restocked when purchased. Normally when you order an item, there will be an empty slot on the counter, but with this perk, a new randomized item will be there to replace it. This perk is unlocked from two tasks. The first is to put out five fires with water. I went to the Winky Dink dungeon, set some stuff on fire, and put them out with a water gun. The second is to make $60 off a single sticks coin conversion. Just save a bunch of the sticks coin and convert it at the shop. The final perk is that Prima deliveries arrive faster and opening crates grants invincibility. Normally, Prima deliveries arrive in 4-5 to five encounters, but this perk reduces it to 2. The second part is that opening a box will give you the ubiquitous form of invincibility, rapidly blinking different colors, like a rave. This perk is unlocked from three tasks. The first is to buy three weapons in a single run. Real lazy with their third perk, it restocks the store. The second is to open 12 delivery cubes in one dungeon run. The most consistent way to do this in the first half of the game is to simply fight the caffeine from the Joblin dungeon and just dodge his attacks. At the end of his attack cycle, two delivery cubes will always be delivered to you. The last is to complete floor B3 without spending any money. Just don't. Kara, the lead engineer. The first perk that Kara provides is pretty simple. Hold two apps at once. Normally you can only hold one app at a time, so it does exactly what it says. The perk is unlocked by installing 10 apps, so all you gotta do is pick them up. The second perk as you saw from the first perk showcase is that the app shop appears in the dungeon. It's a shop that sells apps. What do you know? This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to destroy 15 laptops, all you gotta do is smash them up. The second is to electrocute 5 enemies. Now the most universal method to do this is to just smash electronics against enemies, but in this case, I used the conflict resolver skill. Third perk is that apps are upgraded. For example, the Cubicle Now app normally only calls in a single care package for you, while Cubicle Now 2.0 sends you up to three. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to walk a Claire to floor B3 of any dungeon, and by walk, I really mean drag her to floor B3. The second is to defeat 10 enemies with brick phones. Now this one is a little tricky because they give no explicit explanation on how bricked phones actually spawn, and I sort of skipped through Kara's dialogue. But basically, with Kara as your mentor, when you leave a room without picking up an app, it will turn into a bricked phone. All you need is a final blow with the phone, so you can soften them up with other weapons since the phone has very low durability. Now the last perk is Kara's experimental app, which will appear in the dungeon. When you enter a dungeon, you'll get the app, which is called Canceller. It pretty much snaps an enemy out of existence. This perk is unlocked by three tasks. The first is to kill a drone. Just gotta swing real fast when they deliver box. The second is to deal 50 damage to an enemy in a single hit. Now what I did was take a dolly, roll damage up using the Upcycle app, and got a crit on some enemies. The final task is to take a photo of Black Hat and Sticks coin. For this, you need to get the Mob Flash app and use it on the floating hacker man over here. 
Fern, the chief flavor officer. Flavor Town! The first perk that Fern provides is that cans of fizzle will appear in the dungeon. What it doesn't tell you though is that fizzle will actually replace apps, so apps will no longer spawn in the dungeon. Fizzle cans can be picked up randomly like apps and will activate an effect in an area around you. This perk is unlocked by dealing 50 damage with explosions. A consistent way I've found to do this is to let these bean bomb boys hurt themselves with their own bean bombs. The second perk is that you start your run with a packed lunch from Fern himself. It comes with three pieces of food which replenish one heart of health each. All you gotta do is just throw and smash the box like a piñata. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to apply status effects to 10 enemies. You can go to Winky Dink and use any of the fire ice weapons, but I just use this tablet pen to taste them. The second is to toast a job witch. Just go into Joblin, take a torch, and toast a job witch. The third perk is that you can hold more fizzle at once, and you can buy fizzle from vending machines. So as seen earlier, here's a cute little vending machine room that gives you a random can of fizzle, and here I'm picking up multiple cans. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to defeat three bean bomb boys with bean bombs. Like earlier, the most consistent way is to use your own bean bombs against them. The second is to find the golden eggplant. Egg planked? Plant? Eggplant. In the Winky Dink. For this one, check all the rooms in Winky Dink and you'll find one hanging in one of the rooms. The fourth perk. Oh, wow, that was really high. The fourth perk is that forbidden flavors of fizzle appear in the dungeon. So here, I'll pick up the fizzle void cherry flavor, which was previously hidden and now unconstrained. Just look how good it do. Boom bada bing, easy clap. This perk is unlocked by three tasks. The first is to defeat a monster with a frozen monster. The most consistent way to do this is to use any of the ice weapons and winky dink, freeze an enemy, and use them to smack another. The second is to have nine heart containers, so the easiest way to do this is to get all the relics, which increase your max HP, and then keep drinking fizzle classic from the store. The last is to find the fizzle rock in Styx coin. Just go through the rooms in Six Coin and you should be able to find the rock with pink crystals and mine it with a pickaxe. Swamp, the brand ambassador. Swamp's first perk is that he shoplifts a random item from the cafe. Just talk to him and he'll steal an item from the shop easy peasy. This perk is unlocked by lighting 30 things on fire. And one of the ways to do this is just to take a torch and hold it up to different items to set them on fire. The second perk is that swamp cubes appear in the dungeon. They look like this and are basically sh versions of a cubicle cube. All items are garbage and come out at very low durability. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to run over a car with your car. A consistent way to do this is to use the six road app so that you don't have to worry about keeping the enemy car intact to use it or the durability of your own car. The second is to eat a sandwich when you're not even hungry. Just don't get hit and then eat a job witch. The third perk is that you start each floor with some homies. Two to be exact, they'll stay with you and even two other floors as long as they're alive. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to go on a successful date. Swipe right on a winky dink dating profile and do your best to get four or five winks on your date. The second is to crash the pizza party in winky dink. And by crash, he really just means to murder hobo everybody in the room. Just check all the rooms in winky dink to find the party. The last perk is that you can chill out in Swamp's chill zone. It looks like this. When you chill in the chill zone, you'll get a skill called Quirky, which from my understanding adds modifiers to all weapons found in the dungeon. This chair has durability up, this has damage up, and this one is smart. The final perk is unlocked by three tasks. The first is to fill your inventory with slime. Just go to Winky Dink, kill some slimes, and then put the Dragon Balls in all three slots of your inventory. The second is to start a polyamorous relationship. Like earlier, you should have a successful date, but you need to keep your date alive while having a second successful date. After this, I will have two more girlfriends than what I started with. The last task to unlock this perk is to buy a dank gaming rig from the Sticks Coin Cafe. Frankly, this could be the easiest or the hardest task, depending on how lucky you are. The rig costs 31,206 coin and always spawns on the second floor shop of six coin. So even with an upgraded Coop Snoop app, I'm pretty sure the only way to get it is to steal it, which is a one in six chance. Better if you buy other items before stealing it. Ray, the CEO. His first perk, you start out with his company card and purchase stuff you can't afford. 
Although, once your money becomes less than zero, you get debt, which literally, literally weighs you down and gets bigger the more debt you accumulate. However, the debt does disappear when you pay it off. This perk is unlocked by completing a job with 5 stars. Personally, I just went into job land and defeated enemies quickly. The second perk is that one extra skill will be available per floor. Ray's meditation room will appear on each floor of the dungeon, which comes with that free skill. This perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to defeat 10 monsters with only your bare hands. It's easier with the pugilist gloves, but you don't need it. The second is to break up the Joblin Union. Simply go into Joblin and you'll find the Union and beat them up. The third perk is that you can reroll the cafe by using a special kiosk. You don't like the merch? Just reroll at the kiosk. The perk is unlocked by two tasks. The first is to complete a floor without dodge rolling. Uh, so just get good. The second is to acquire 10 skills in one run. Now this task is actually much easier to do with Ray as your mentor, since you get a free skill each floor, and you can purchase skills from the store with debt, along with, you know, any deals with clearly not Ty Lopez. Knowledge. The fourth perk is that you start the dungeon with Ray's whip. It's like other cars, but a lot faster and more durable. This perk is unlocked by three tasks. The first is to defeat the King Slime in Winky Dink. Go to Winky Dink, find the room, defeat the guy. Easy peasy. The second is to finish an end floor combat without taking damage. Uh, so once again, get good. The last task is to reach floor B4 with no skills. Simple enough, just make sure to unpin your endorsed skill at the kiosk, cause that one definitely still counts. Think back all the time about the things I never said.